how about footprinting websites? Let's take a look at that. So website footprinting is monitoring and analyzing the target's website for information. Well, the obvious thing to do is to just browse the target website, but there's a lot of stuff that's hidden that you don't see when you just browse. So there are tools, many tools we can use, and you don't have to memorize these, but just if you see them, you just kind of recognize these are for website footprinting. We could look at source code in HTML. We could steal cookies, and a cookie is just it's a little text document. If I go shopping on Amazon or, or any website, the website will ask my browser in the background, will you take a cookie from me? And um, the browser usually accepts the cookie unless the user says no. The cookie is simply to identify the browser session to the website when we come back or to uh, tell the browser how long the session is good for. So when I go back to Amazon, Amazon asks my browser for the cookie my browser hands it over, it, uh, Amazon looks in their database and they see that I clicked all these things and looked at all these things and now they say, welcome back Chris and here are three new books that might interest you. That's one purpose of a cookie. The other purpose of a cookie is to say, I've logged in and I can come back for the next two hours or 10 hours or one hour or a half hour and not have to log in again. So they also maintain your session. So um, those are cookies. So we can um, uh, look at cookies, we can steal cookies, um, because if we can steal cookies, we can log in as somebody else even. Uh, we can see connection status, content type, uh, we can see the um, uh, accept ranges and last modified information, we can see more information about powered by or web server version information, uh, all of these things that will help us figure out how can we technically attack the website. We can basically crawl the whole website. We call it spidering or crawling. It's an automated search on a target to collect information. I mean, Google does that. Google will crawl your website several times a day, I think, um, so that they can um, index it so that people can search it. But you can use it to get employee names and titles and addresses, email addresses, phone numbers, fax numbers, meta tags, which tells us about documents. And we do this so that we can have targets for social engineering. There are a ton of tools. Spiderfoot, Visual SEO Studio, Wildshark SEO, uh, Beam Us Up, uh, Scapey, Screaming Frog, Xenu. Uh, basically these, and there's even more than these, these are to just sort of crawl all over the um, website to find useful information, spidering it. You could also just copy the whole website. Just flat out mirror the whole thing, make an entire copy. Now, if you're going to mirror a website, if you're going to make a copy and have a copy on your laptop, go slowly. <laughs> they generally don't like their whole website and all its content and everything being downloaded in one whack. So go a lot more slowly and it'll look like just the general public coming and looking around and downloading normally. So um, mirroring a website, it lets us examine the entire website at our leisure, offline. And then we can do all sorts of requests and tests and things that on our own copy that won't be detected by them. So we can download all this stuff to a local directory on our laptop or computer. We can get all the HTML, all the images, all the flash, all the videos, all the download files, all the everything. Now, of course, if the website requires you log in, you're going to have to do that too, otherwise you won't have much. Then you take your time searching, but please copy slowly, not merely to be polite, but also so they don't detect that you are mirroring their website. As you can see, there are a ton of website mirroring tools, including some popular ones like HTTrack and Teleport Pro. Loads and loads and loads and loads of them, you can see that. And you see this link right here? www.archive.org, that is the famous archive.org, which has the famous Wayback Machine. The Wayback Machine allows me to see what did their website look like last month, two years ago, five years ago. So they're the ones who basically mirror whole websites. But usually what they don't do is they don't usually get downloadables. They'll just show you what you see instantly. They don't usually like download all the files and the, the software and the this and the that. It's just whatever you just see out front. 
But nonetheless, they could have exposed information that we'll look at. So that's the Wayback Machine of archive.org. So we can get useful information just by going to archive.org. We can access those archived versions of somebody's website. We can see a copy of the site as it was at a particular time and find information that they subsequently deleted, but not likely to have downloads. And we can also have monitoring services that will alert us if a web page changes or is updated It'll send alerts like emails and SMSs to us. So we, we can have it monitor for us if anything has changed. Um, so here are a bunch of tools that you can use for website update monitoring. A whole bunch of those. Follow that page. Watch that page. Website watcher, visual ping, check for change, on web change, info minder, etc. These are not, this is not a comprehensive list. And then finally, extracting metadata. Now, metadata is data about data. So here's an example. On your computer, you have a document. You right-click the document, you go to the properties. The property says when it was created, when it was modified, who created it, etc. That's metadata. Or it says how big the thing is, or the resolution of an image. That's all metadata. Now, the cool thing about metadata is it will include the author, and that's a person we can socially engineer. So we can extract metadata, and there are plenty of tools to extract useful information that might be hidden in a PDF or an Office file. It's not the, it's not the text of the file, it's the stuff in the header. And so we use it to perform social engineering and tools, Metagoofle, FOCA, Extract Metadata, MetaTag Analyzer, BuzzStream, Analyze Metadata, Exif Tool, there are more than just this, but Metadata Extraction Tools. So that is Website Footprinting.